In fact, the most terrifying incident on October 7, 2023, which was often carried out by armed terror groups, has been warned several times by many of observers that this group is truly dangerous in every move it makes towards its terror targets. In many cases, several world institutions related to dealing with sadistic acts of terrorism often move too slowly, because terrorism is truly present in the midst of civilized human life, so its form is often very invisible. Due to moves too slowly, a more measured language to describe an act of terrorism is the behavior of wild wolves, where the boundary fence is a civilization from two different groups but within which there is a flock of sheep that need comprehensive protection. What is described is indeed true, wild wolves often plan to take the most important thing in their survival into the lives of a group of sheep and then disguise themselves as sheep in various forms of compassion towards their fellow wolves without having to prove who they really are. والذي دنس هذه المقدسات وبإذن الحي القيوم سنحررها بإذن, بإذن الله عز وجل وسنصبح بإذن الله من القادات المحررين للمسجد الأقصى as has been explained, wild wolves often find themselves in flocks of sheep and then build their military defenses among the sheep and then wild wolf hunters are often overwhelmed and the work of the wild wolves is invisible even sometimes the sheep are under the influence of the religious doctrines of the wild wolves. From various countries, there are those who assume that terrorists and fighters are the same, so these countries cannot differentiate because they are under threat of weapons, then all crimes can be legalized for the same provocative purposes, just name it kidnapping, murder or even smuggling, especially since these countries are in war emergency. Absolutely impossible, too many countries ask, why did you become a soldier, but few countries ask, before terrorists, what were you?